Hello again, my friends, and welcome to Phrasal Verb Quiz Part 14. In this video, you must choose the correct word to complete the phrasal verb in each question. You may need to pause the video at each question to think of your answers. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Number one. And the answer is, I'll be able to visit you tonight after I see off my son to the airport. All right, if you see off somebody, you go with them to a certain place, uh, usually when they are going to leave. So in this case, the person went with their son to the airport, but you can see off somebody. So you go with them and say goodbye to them. That's what it means to see off someone. All right. Number two. And the answer is, Marco wasn't able to spell out the details of his business plan very well. So our boss rejected it. To spell out something is to explain or describe something clearly. And in our example here, Marco wasn't able to do this. And he couldn't do this clearly because he couldn't spell out the details clearly, his boss rejected his idea. All right, number three. And the answer is, Lucas was finally able to scrape up enough money to buy a new bicycle. If you scrape up something, in this case, we're scraping up, we're collecting. A certain amount of something and it's usually difficult to do this and in our example here Lucas was able to scrape up enough money was able to save or collect enough money to buy a bicycle all right that's what scrape up means in this particular context all right number four And the answer is, the immense damage done by the earthquake didn't sink in right away. But after I saw more pictures of it on the internet, I realized how bad it was. If something sinks in, it means that you truly understand it, or in the case of our example, to realize it. Or you could say to have a deeper realization of it. And that's exactly what happened in our example here. The person didn't realize how bad the damage was from the earthquake until they saw it on the internet. And that's when this realization sunk in. Got it? All right, number five. And the answer is, my cousins aren't good students because they often cut class and skip off to the beach or some other place instead. So if you skip off to some place, you leave suddenly and even secretly, all right, to avoid something. And in this case, person's cousins were skipping off from class. They were cutting class, all right, and they were going to the beach or wherever. There wasn't school. So they skipped off, and that's what it means. All right, number six. And the answer is, I tried to talk my friend Joan out of moving to Spain, but she moved there anyway. If you talk someone out of something, you're trying to convince them not to do something, all right? You're trying to convince them to change their mind. And in this case, our example here, this person talked to their friend and tried to change their mind, tried to talk them out of doing something, which was moving to Spain. Okay, number seven. And the answer is, she thought the story for her new book up while she was on a plane to Japan. If you think something up, you devise it or you come up with an idea. You can even say you create this idea from nothing. All right, and that's what happened in our example here. The woman thought up the idea for the story while she was on the plane. All right, she created it. Okay, number eight. 
And the answer is, I can't afford to pay the rest of my tuition at university. So I may have to write off my dream of getting my degree in the near future. If you write something off, you abandon it and you see it as a loss. And that's what happened here. In this case, the person couldn't pay their tuition and they wrote off their dream. They thought of their dream as a loss because they wouldn't be able to get their degree in the near future because of the tuition. They wrote off their dream. All right, number nine. And the answer is, the problems with our new project began to weigh on me in the beginning of the week, but I feel much better now that we're almost finished. If something weighs on you, it burdens you or it makes you worry about something. And in our example here, the problems that the person was having with their project at work was worrying him. But he felt much better now that they were almost finished. So the weight, in a way, came off of him. Okay, the final question, number 10. And the answer is, I was able to wrap up the rest of my work on the project before the deadline. So my boss gave me a generous raise. If you wrap something up, you complete the work or you complete something. It means you're finished with it completely. All right. And that's what happened here. The person was able to wrap up the rest of the work on the project and he completed it. And because he completed it, before the deadline, his boss gave him a generous raise. That's an increase in his salary. That's all for this video. I hope you're enjoying this series. There are many more videos to come. And thanks again for subscribing and please share the video. All right, if you get a chance. And do one more thing. Keep practicing! See you next time!